Hey, happy Friday, everyone. So as promised, I have an interesting update slash uh, news story. So recently, a friend of mine contacted me and he said, hey, Will, have you heard of Chun Wong? And I thought about it and I was like, huh, if you reverse that, that kind of reminds me of dance hall days. I guess I'm aging myself here. Um, I told him no. And he said, well, he is extremely wealthy, uh, makes you look poor. And I said, cool. Does he want to go to Antarctica with us? And he said, no, better. And I thought to myself, well, then does he want to sponsor a whole bunch of people to go to Antarctica with us? And he said, no, even better. And I'm like, well, what's better than that? And he said, he wants to fly over Antarctica. Wow, now you have my attention. So if you haven't heard, Chun Wong is this Chinese crypto billionaire guy, uh, and he has arranged uh, a private uh, mission with SpaceX, and they just announced it. It's called Fram 2. There's going to be four people on board, him, someone from Australia, someone from Norway, and someone from Germany. Now, what makes this mission so interesting is they would like to do a polar orbit. Now, I'll give it to the Flat Earthers. Uh, a good argument on their side is where are all of the you know, space pictures of Antarctica, real ones? Why have we never had... Uh, uh, and a polar orbit uh, with a spacecraft before. All of those are valid questions. And if this mission happens, uh, I think that we will actually now have real pictures of Antarctica, all of it uh, from space, and we will have our first polar orbit. Um, now, uh, this is just pie in the sky at this point. They just announced it. Uh, it obviously would have to happen. And if the flat earthers are right, this trip will get canceled or will fizzle out. But as it stands, they're going to try to launch this year still. Uh, based on what I'm reading, their target is December of this year. Obviously, that's significant for a whole bunch of reasons. But the most important, at least to me, is that is when we will be in Antarctica with the final experiment. I have uh, people that are trying to contact uh, the members of this crew, uh, at least to get a hold of one of them. I doubt we will be successful, but I want to find out, A, if they will be in a polar orbit while we are there, uh, and if so, if there's anything that we could possibly do from Union Glacier Camp that they would be able to see uh, while they're orbiting and could maybe take a picture of or film as they are flying over Antarctica. Now, I can't tell you why all of this stuff is all happening this December, but it's going to be quite a year, a year to be remembered. So for those of you who don't remember everything, I will give you a quick rundown. Uh, first and foremost, the final experiments going down this December. December 14th through the 18th is when we will be at Union Glacier Camp in Antarctica. Uh, number two, there is a flat earth reality show that is going to be uh, released in December. They gave a handful of families $50,000 each. These are flat earth families. And, and their goal is to take that money and prove flat earth to a some sort of a panel of experts. That's really all I know. There's not a lot of information about it. I did do a video on this uh, a couple months back, and I specifically asked Flat Earthers what you would do if you had $50,000 just given to you, and they literally said, no strings attached, use this to prove Flat Earth. What would you do? I was hoping to get a ton of ideas, and I didn't get any. Uh, the reason that I'm excited about that question is because I'm doing something uh, to either prove flat earth or prove the globe. Uh, and I'm just curious other ideas people would have 
with the with a limited budget. So fifty thousand dollars is a good number. So I'm still looking for ideas from flat earthers as to how you would prove flat earth with fifty thousand dollars just handed to you. And then next is the William Shatner cruise to Antarctica. That's happening this December as well. Neil deGrasse Tyson will be on there. Scott Kelly, uh, astronaut, either NAUT or NOT, will be on that boat as well, going to Antarctica. And then finally now, this SpaceX Fram 2 mission has been announced, and I think it's cool. Is it going to happen? I don't know. Uh, it'd be neat if it did. But uh, we are entering into completely uh, uncharted territory and new times where we now have private individuals. Again, they're wealthy, which is fine and great, but private individuals that are able to just contact a privatized space agency, uh, SpaceX, and arrange their own space travel. So very, very fun. Very, very interesting, and we will see if it all comes to fruition or not. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Uh, a lot of flat earthers believe that our trip will be canceled, that the SpaceX trip will be canceled, and that uh, it just won't come to fruition. And I told them, if that happens, that is going to be a check box on the flat earth side for me. So I don't have evidence yet to think that these things are not going to happen and that they're going to be canceled, but you're making a prediction. And if your prediction becomes true, then that gives some validity to your prediction. And I would reassess that. Now, I would ask for this from the other side as well, because the globe side is making a ton of predictions about the final experiment, all kinds of predictions, right? Predictions that People like Nathan Oakley would never go. People like David Weiss would never go. They're, they're saying they won't go because they'll it'll end their grift. Again, they're making a prediction. Let's see if their prediction comes true. But the globe side's actually making other predictions too, like sun elevation and position and azimuth and you know the the complete trajectory over the uh, landscape at Union Glacier, like all kinds of modeling is being done by the globe side. And wow, they're really putting it out there, which is great because they're making a prediction. We'll see if it's true, but they're also showing confidence in what they believe will happen by just putting it out there. And it'll be easy to show them to be wrong if they are wrong once we get there. So that's the update for today. If you missed it, uh, Austin Witsit uh, had me on his show last night on his channel, Witsit Gets It. He gave me a tentative yes uh, to going to Antarctica, which is important because his yes will turn into a yes for Jaron Campanella uh, of the channel Jaronism as well. So we are one step closer. If you want, you can check out that interview on Austin's channel. I'll go ahead and link to that down below. And then we will have uh, more updates next week as uh, things are happening, happening fast and furious right now as we slowly creep toward December and get closer to that deadline. So happy Friday, everyone. Have a great weekend. Talk soon. Bye-bye.